Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use trim automation using VCAs in Reaper. Now, thanks to Reaper 5 and VCAs, we can now trim automation using new envelopes, something we couldn't do before. Let me show you. I have a vocal track in front of me. Let's hear what it sounds like. I heard about the things that you done before, but I thought I could change all your ways. Now let's say we want to automate this. We'll go to our fader over here. We'll switch to write mode using a custom toolbar that I created. If we go up here, we can go to open toolbars and choose automation. Now this is a custom toolbar that I created. If you want to know how to make your own, just go to the toolbar video on the Reaper page. But this toolbar works like this. We could change the automation mode for any selected tracks just by choosing it here. So if we choose the vocal, go into write. This track is now in write mode. So let's record some volume automation for our vocal. Let's hit V so we can see the envelope. And let's record some. Grab the fader. I heard about the things that you done before, but I thought I could change all your ways. I guess deep down I knew what you had in store. I'm done running around in your maze. Now that sounds pretty good to me, but say I wanted to improve it by writing another pass. Now before Reaper 5 and VCAs, we only had a few options. We could change it overall by switching to trim mode and adjusting the envelope right here, up and down. We can redraw it like this, or we can adjust it overall with our fader. I heard about the things that you done before, but I thought I could change. But we can't add automation on top of automation or combine it. We can just move this overall or redraw it. But if we use VCAs, we can. Now, when you think of VCAs, you think of grouping more than one track. But you don't have to do that. You can group one track in a VCA and take advantage of the features that a VCA provides. So let's make a new track down here, move it to the top. Let's make it smaller. Let's create a volume envelope for the track by hitting V. And let's put it in the media lane. So the volume envelope is here now. Let's name it VCA. And let's make this track a VCA master for this track. We'll select this one first, hit Shift G, go to group one and make it a VCA master. Choose this track and make it a VCA slave. Then if we close it, this track, which is over here, we'll now control this track. Let's put this one into read so we can see it. I heard about the things that you done before. And now if we adjust this fader, it's gonna affect this. It's not gonna move the fader, it's just gonna affect what we hear. I heard about the things that you done before, but I thought I could change all your ways. So now we can automate the VCA track and it's gonna affect or adjust the main track automation. So let's do that. Let's go to this track, go to write automation, and let's write automation on the VCA master. Go over here. I heard about the things that you done before, but I thought I could change all your ways. I guess deep down I knew what you had in store. I'm done running around in your maze. So right now, we hear in both envelopes affecting the vocal. First this one, and then this one. And we can see them both if we put it into read mode and watch the faders. I heard about the things that you done before, but I thought I could change all your way. So both envelopes are being used. Now this might seem confusing, having it on two different tracks. Well, all we have to do is move this automation on top of here and combine them. And luckily in Reaper, there's an action for that. Let's go to Actions, go to our filter, and type in VCA. And right here, 
it's going to apply all VCAs from selected tracks to the group tracks. So in my custom toolbar right here, this VCA button, I assigned it to perform this action. So I could select the VCA master, hit this button, and it moves that automation on top of this one. See how it changed? Let's undo it. Now watch down here. We'll do it again. It didn't replace it. It's not the same thing that was up here. It actually combines it. So it reset the master VCA back to zero. And now both fader movements are applied down here. So it combined them. And we could do this as many times as we want. Just go back to this one, go into write mode, and we could do it again. I heard about the things that you done before, but I thought I could change all your ways. And now we could apply those changes on here as well. Select it, hit this button, and it applied it right here. Let's do something more drastic so you can see the difference. I'm going to raise it up for the second line. Go back to right. I heard about the things that you done before, but I thought I could change. And now we'll apply this down here. Reset it and applied it to that second line. I heard about the things that you done before, but I thought. Now we can fix it the same way. Go back to right mode and bring it down for the second line. I heard about the things that you done before, but I thought I could just... And now if we apply that, it smooths it out because it combined both envelopes into one. And when we're happy with this and we don't need the VCA anymore, just delete it. Go right here, hit delete, and it's gone because we don't need it anymore. When it's reset to zero, it's not doing anything. So we still have a vocal and all the changes right over here. I heard about the things that you done before. And if you change your mind and you want to perform more trim automation, just add it again. Make a new one down here, bring it up. Make it a VCA master. This one is still the slave. Go into write mode. And we're ready to write more trim automation. I heard about the things that you done before, but I thought I could change all your ways. And then apply it right here. And it gets added to this envelope. So that's pretty much it. It's a pretty powerful feature, and it really helps with automating and re automating our tracks. So that's trim automation using VCAs in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.